Hello everyone, this uh, module contains other techniques of integration including the definite integral. For this particular unit, it involves integration of rational fractions, particularly fractions having denominators of uh, distinct linear factors. For distinct linear factors, if the integrand contains a rational fraction wherein the denominator will be having distinct linear factors which will be x plus a, x plus b until we have x plus n, we could resolve that into partial fractions wherein it becomes the integral of a all over x plus a plus b all over x plus b until we have an n all over x plus n dx. Let's have illustration 1. If we want to integrate v cubed plus 2 all over v cubed minus v times dv, in integrating a rational fraction, we have to be sure that it must be a proper fraction. For this case, the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. So we have to divide v cubed plus 2 divided by v cubed minus v. Dividing, we get 1 plus v plus 2 all over v cubed minus v. And we can factor out v cubed minus v. And that will be equivalent to the factors v times the quantity v plus 1 times the quantity v minus 1. If you notice, v and v plus 1 including v minus 1 are distinct linear factors. We now can substitute this into our integral. So this now becomes the integral of the quantity 1 plus v plus 2 all over the three distinct linear factors, v, v plus 1, and then v minus 1 into our integral. If we will consider the second term, wherein it is v plus 2 all over v times v plus 1 and v minus 1, we could resolve this into partial fractions, which will be equivalent to a all over v plus b all over v plus 1 plus n all over v minus 1. And if we multiply the least common denominator because we wanted to clear out fractions, then we get v plus 2 is equal to a times the quantity v plus 1 times the quantity v minus 1 plus b times v times v minus 1 plus n times v times the quantity v plus 1. If we put v to be equivalent to 0 in this equation because it is actually an equation identity, then we could solve a to be equivalent to negative 2. If we put v to be negative 1, Solving the identity, it gives us b equals 1 half. And if we put v to be equivalent to 1, n is equivalent to 3 over 2. So we now can substitute this into the equation. Substituting the values of a, b, and n, knowing a to be negative 2, b is 1 half and then n is 3 over 2, then we get this integral. If you notice, we can solve the first term just by applying the property of integrals. The second, the third, and the fourth term could be solved by applying the logarithm formula. So our final answer becomes v minus 2 ln of v plus 1 half ln of v plus 1 plus 3 over 2 times the ln of v minus 1 plus 
C. For illustration 2, we will evaluate the integral of dx all over x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x. We can factor out the denominator, so we could write this as the integral of dx all over x times the quantity x squared minus 3x minus 10. Further, we still can factor out x squared minus 3x minus 10. So we could write this as the integral of dx all over x times x plus 2 and x minus 5. If we will consider the rational fraction of the integral, which is 1 all over x times x plus 2 and x minus 5, x, x plus 2, and x minus 5 are distinct linear factors. So we could reduce this or resolve this into partial fractions, which will be equivalent to a all over x plus b all over x plus 2 plus n all over x minus 5. We will now multiply this by the least common denominator, which is x times the quantity x plus 2 times x minus 5 so that we could clear off fractions. So the result will be uh, 1 is equal to a times the quantity x plus 2 and x minus 5 because x cancels out. This will be plus x plus 2 cancels out so the result will be b times x times x minus 5. For the last term, that will become plus n times x. x minus 5 cancels out, so we will multiply this by x plus 2. After clearing of fractions, we now can assign the values of the roots of the linear factors so that we could solve for the constants a, b, and c. So putting x is equal to 0, a is negative 1 over 10. Putting x is equal to negative 2, b is 1 over 14. And if x is 5, n is 1 over 35. So if we try to go back to our original integral, that is the integral of dx all over x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x, we factored out the denominator, wherein the integral becomes dx all over x times the quantity x plus 2 times x minus 5. And after that, we had resolved that into partial fractions, wherein a, b, and n are the constants which we were able to solve. So now we could substitute the values of a, b, and n. a becomes 1, negative 1 over 10, b becomes 1 over 14, and n becomes 1 over 35. Since we had replaced a, b, n with their corresponding values that we had solved, we now can integrate this equation. First, we could expand. So the first one is negative 1 over 10 times the integral of dx over x plus 1 all over 14 times the integral of dx all over x plus 2 plus 1 over 35 times the integral of dx all over x minus 5. All three terms can be integrated using the logarithm formula. So our final answer will be negative 1 over 10 ln x plus 1 over 14 ln of x plus 2 plus 1 over 35 ln of x minus 5 plus the arbitrary constant c.